Yeah, I'm not gonna say anything now. I'm gonna tell you something to tune into blackness rides. All them money I test rides, some of the sickest rides. Well, good morning. And what another beautiful morning. And you might notice that we are at Barnstormer Alton BMW dealership. Bought my uh, bike up here just to have a little. Maybe have a little looksy around it because I've got a weird little vibration going on. I don't know if it's me being paranoid, but let's get these things checked out while it's under warranty. And while we're here, I've got an outer kill. So I've talked to me in to lend me one of these. S1000 XR. This is the SE edition. Top of the range. It's basically got the uh, S1000 RR engine in, detuned, in line four. And already you get on it and wow, that feels light. So it's basically a sports bike in a sit up and big kind of guys. It feels dinky compared to my old GSA I've been riding around on. And a lot, uh, a lot more rigid suspension on it. It's got some um, it's all got all the bells and whistles on here. It's got the uh, ESA, so you've only got switchable between road or dynamic modes on the suspension. Oh, really nice, crisp feeling uh, in line four. It's got an aluminium bridge frame, they call it. Should be nice and rigid and obviously light. Which does feel very responsive. This uh, it's also got the Gear Shift Pro on it, which uh, basically a quick shifter. So uh, we don't need to use the clutch. Yeah, we're just rolling along. What are we doing? We're just a little bit over the speed limit. This is in sixth gear, 4,000 revs. Blinder on, too silky smooth. It's got, uh, it's got rider modes. And how do we do that? There'll be the mode button here down on the bottom of the dash there, so we've got enduro, road, rain, sorry not enduro, we'll mind about this one, it hasn't got enduro, it's got rain, road and dynamic, so let's put that in dynamic, that's pretty much uh, the full uh, sports mode. And yeah, on first impressions this is just really easy. Got uh, 17 inch alloys front and rear. I think running a 120 front tire, 180 rear. It's got bridge stones on this and they come standard. It's also uh, been fitted with an Aprokovic can. They don't come standard, but I think they're doing a complimentary deal on them at the moment. The XR range starts off at around 12,500, I think. Uh, obviously then uh, stops going up rapidly depending on what extras you have it's got telescopic upside 
right down the front end. Six gear, it's got plenty of pull on that. I keep feeling I need to change up, but uh, we're in, in top gear. The one in front of the open starts to help and really does go for it. Really nice. So, um, like I said, it's the detuned version of the uh, S1000RR, which puts out 199 200 brake horsepower. This uh, puts out 160 brake horsepower. Yeah, nice and effortless. So it's really deceiving. Sitting upright like this, the shield is actually working really well. I'm, I'm feeling nothing. No wind in the way at all. And uh, you, you just don't realise how quick you're going handles it really nicely. Seat, that's all a really nice riding position. You know, at six foot two, I'm, uh, I'm really comfortable. It's sort of like halfway between sports bike and, uh, and my GSA in uh, the facts of like, where your feet position is. Seat, nice, got a little sort of bum stop bit where it goes into the pillion. buzz coming through the pegs. Nothing too major but uh, I do notice it's there. Yeah the engine itself is silky silky smooth. We've been really lucky with the day to day so we've had a good few days. Really nice weather up to about 17 degrees. Brakes are uh, obviously got Bremos, twin four pots on the front. It's got all the uh, automatic headlight business. is not going to be a problem when we get a gap. Cracker open. And I'll tell you what, that quick shifter works beautifully. It's got to uh, remind myself I've actually got it shut down. Just keep it pinned, keep flicking that lever up. Downshifts as well. Absolutely lovely, that was our full downshift. Done really nicely with that. Yeah, I'm definitely getting a little bit of uh, tickly feet feeling through a little bit of uh, vibration through the pegs, but like I said nothing major. Oh, It'll be quite interesting um, because I imagine this is kind of like on par with. Uh, Ducati Multistrad in the uh, sort of target audience. Multistrad, that's sorry. Well, it's, uh, it's, a bit of, it's a nice road, but uh, I've got it on dynamic suspension, and you, you know it's very, uh, very sensitive to feeling the front end. You feel what the uh, texture of the road's doing underneath it. Obviously, dynamic mode hardens it up. Put that in the road mode, I think. Oh, yeah. yeah. So now that's gone into road, which should now just be a little bit softer. It's really beautifully balanced. Nice 
just going to growl out the uh, inline four and just give her a little bit of throttle. But yeah, it's a really well thought out bike. I'm just cruising through here in sixth gear. Hardly any throttle. As soon as I want to need a little bit, it's there. Power's on tap. Absolutely brilliant engine. You know, obviously they've sort of like aimed this. Uh, you know, I don't know. Sort of uh, it's like comfortable sports touring class. Uh, you couldn't go off road with it, you wouldn't want to, you know, put in that enduro section or anything. Although it's kind of got that similar stance. Not too much dive on the front end. Yeah, does everything it's supposed to. Controls really nicely laid out. All the dash, it's nice. Looks like it's got an adjustable screen somehow, but I can't quite see how you'd adjust that just yet. We'll have a little look at explore that. Mirrors, nice position. The standard mirrors of BMW stick on everything like this on the stems. Give you a good view behind. Any minimal amount of elbow. Gear shifter's really slick. Yeah, I've definitely got to get this gear shift pro thing fit to mine. It's supposed to be a bit lumpier on the boxier engine, or lumpier on the boxer engines, but uh, I think everything is. Where this is just silky, silky smooth. Yeah, I'll tell you what, BMW really got this balanced out nicely. This is lovely. I can't see anybody having a problem with one of these. Multi-useful. Maybe commuting, touring, attacking lanes. This is uh so capable of everything. And we've got a particularly nice long sweep in the right hand or whatever you like. Right, let's just put in here and have a little uh, look see at her. Tell you what, this is a lovely bike. This is a really lovely bike. This is the perfect combination between the eagerness of like my fire blade. Not quite as aggressive, but with the, the comfort and riding position of my uh, GSA. This is this is for the man who can't decide which way he wants to go with them. You see lovely little dash there, gear indicator. There's all your ride mode indicators. Heated grips. Don't need them on right now. Um, obviously like automatic uh, headlight. So that will sort out what headlight you need. Uh, traction control, ABS, uh, shift light, and then what else we got? So we've got the different trips, obviously. Average amount of gallons. Uh, I've done my done 2,000 miles. Uh, info. Um, I don't know what that one's about. Race info. It's quite interesting. 
setup menu. Yeah. So yeah, race menu. So must record lap times if you can take it to the track. Uh, it's got obviously the mounts for um, the navigation system. Uh, that'll be this paddle off of here that scrolls between all of that. Comes with a handy DIN plug there. Recharge your phone and whatnot. Plug things into that. Sure, that must be adjustable. Can't quite see how you do it though. We say it somewhere. Yeah, it's a little sweetie. Very purposeful. Be absolutely amazing on tour through Europe, through the Alps, and all of that kind of business. So it's got some sort of mounting already for uh, some sort of luggage. I dare say BMW will sell you a, a luggage pack as well. But yeah, very nice indeed. How yeah, would you do that? Don't know if I mentioned, but she weighs in, I think, was it? About 228 kilos. So that's not too bad. It's like 30 kilos less than what I'm used to riding around on at the moment. Take your back, unfortunately. Quick shifter and be clunking that all over the place after that. Yeah, all in all, this gets a full Blacklist Rides thumbs up. I think if anyone gets the chance and you're in the market for this sort of style, or not actually sure what sort of style you're after, come and give this a go. I think this is. Uh, Gonna tick a lot of people's boxes. I know I'd definitely have one in the collection. It's an everyday, every day, put lots of smiles on your face, totally capable bit of machinery. a little bit in love with it. I'm not going to lie, it's uh, this the only thing I could find one negative with it. And uh, normally when I point out negative someone jumps on the comment thing and uh, slates me for it. But um, it's just got a slight bit of buzz. Not as buzzy as some I've ridden. At the moment, oh, kind of, you've got a little bit of uh, buzz through the pegs, a bit of buzz through the handlebars. Be 
it's alright, you can live, it's, it's a livable buzz. You know, it's not going to drive you up the wall, I don't think. But yeah, it's just so beautifully balanced. I've probably mentioned this too many times now. But yeah, I, I could sit on here all day and, and be loving life. So, uh, I hope you enjoyed this little test ride and it gave you a little bit of insight into the uh, BMW S1000 XR SE. If you're in the area, give Barnstormer a little shout, get down there and uh, I'll let you go and have a little play one and then uh, eagerly relieve you of all your money when you get back. Yeah, bloody lorries. Nice like something in the way, aren't there? Anyway, until next time, this is uh, yours truly, Blackness Rides, signing out. <laughs>